I'm Sylvia. And I'm Joy. And we'd like to tell you what open hardware means to us as makers, students, and spokes kids. And as future decision makers, parents, and rulers of the world. I make a how-to show with my family using open kits and giving out any special project source code, details, or schematics we have. And I make open hardware kits like my 3x3x3 LED cube and my brand new shield being released through the Maker Show this weekend. And even though as a hardware user and creator, we're doing very different things. I think we both get something great out of it. For example, after spending only a day making my extreme marshmallow can out of plumbing supplies in the summer of 2011, I put up exactly how to build the whole thing on makeprojects.com for everyone to make one of their own. Not long after, President Obama himself got to fire one off at the White House. But what I really like to do is electronics. In addition to my LED cube shield, I will be releasing two new open source shields for controlling lights this weekend at the World Maker Fair. One for ELR, and the other for an 8x8 array of surface mount LEDs. Even though they're flashy, I don't think they'll be getting as much attention as my marshmallow can has. But I guess I could still paint them bright orange and make them explode. I'd buy that, as long as they came with some safety goggles. But yeah, because Joyce boards are made open, I can make my own at home. Or even use them to learn about exactly how they're supposed to work. When it came to making my own Adafruit monochrome clock face, the fully open nature of the project ensured there were plenty of great examples to go by. It's this ease of entry that my dad and I always strive for. Taking away anything that could stop someone, no matter what age, from starting a project. Making it open source, making it standard, making it easy, is what keeps people trying to make their dreams. Some of this stuff can be pretty hard to do on its own. We just want to make the adventure as smooth as we can. Even though it takes a lot of work to make something ready for people to use that's open, with documentation, pictures, files, and videos, it's worth it knowing that people can keep the idea alive without needing to bother you. So, because I make my boards open, does that mean I'm giving away for nothing? You're giving away the idea, and the idea is the important part. Open doesn't mean you can't make a kit and sell it yourself for profit. Supporting the maker means they can thrive to do more. But somebody could just take your work and resell it under their name. It's like stealing. But you're giving away your plans freely, so they can go out and live in the world instead of being locked up. Cesar Harada, co-creator of the Protee Oil Sucking Sailboat, said, That's exactly what open hardware is about. To replace competition with collaboration. To transform any new product into a new market. Senior Ponzi of Arduino made sure to keep the name trademarked, but give out everything else. That way everyone could sell or build something Arduino compatible, just they couldn't sell it with the exact name and color without permission. So even though people can take your work when it's open, if you protect the name, people will know whose it is. I guess if I always do a good job making things, people will prefer to buy from me. Of course, when you give a project file and documentation out, you can have a collaborative relationship with anyone who wants to be part of a project, make it better, or even take it in a new direction. Working together is always better because I'm getting something out of it, and so are you. It might not always work perfectly, but as long as young makers like us realize it, we'll be a part of a new generation that always thinks together before we think competitively. Yeah, I hope. Though it's pretty hard to see it sometimes. Giving your ideas and work out is great because everyone gets something out of it. Even if it's just that warm, fuzzy, dirty feeling of bringing everyone closer together as a big community of makers. Blah, sure. Hey, a girl can dream of fuzzy turtle makers. Um, what does this have to do with open hardware again? Oh, um, anyways, what have you been up to lately? Oh yeah, over the last summer, I got a chance to work at a big microchip manufacturer. They sold billions of microcontrollers worldwide and were incredibly nice to let me experience what it's like to do electronics in the real world. But while I was there in a place where patents are prized and hung on the wall, I learned that open hardware is a dirty phrase, where Arduino is looked down on and the old way of doing things is the only way. This was completely different from what I was used to. The maker community is open, all about sharing, all about helping each other learn. Microchip manufacturers are big corporations concentrating on keeping up with their profits and making new chips to compete in the big market. Keeping everything closed makes sense to them. Even that at mill chip on the Arduino is a black box of mystery. Maybe we both have something big to learn from each other. 
Sharing innovation doesn't have to mean giving up your entire business model, just taking the first step to get closer to the kids and inventors that have great ideas, and getting them out there means we're all learning something. Totally. On my show and out in the field, I hope to teach kids a little bit more about how open source is real and all around us. From Arduino-based electronics and real products, to Drupal and Linux running millions of websites, to just freely sharing your own ideas online through sites like Make Projects and Instructables. Because of the internet, the work of hundreds of volunteers and other hard workers can now be combined into something real. It doesn't always work right, and it's not always easy. But that's how everything starts out. And because it's open, we don't have to just put up with it. We can contribute back. We can make a real impact. And we'll probably learn a bunch along the way. Yep. If it wasn't for the great people willing to share and talk about what they do, I wouldn't be able to do half the things I'm able to do now. Me too. Though, I learn a lot from my parents. They didn't just magically know how to do things. Most of what they learned was from what people shared online. The smart guys and girls who take the time to blog about what they do and how they do it. Let me just say, you guys rock! Yeah, you and you and all of you! Yeah, people like us are stuck on how to do something all the time, and we might be scared to ask questions. But because you shared your brain power, you helped us figure it out. You helped us level up. Not to mention, maybe one day we'll be the ones writing posts on Instructables next time thanks to you. Setting a good example through open hardware and making things together is probably the best thing we can do as humans in this age of always on communication. Teaching people that they can be the master of their physical world. Or maybe just a little bit better at taming it. I wonder if you can have an open hardware license for a light-up holiday sweater. Hmm. Why would you want to? Oh, never mind. Now I wouldn't know what to make you for Christmas. And I finally get to use those Tesla coil drivers. Joey! Your mom said no more high-voltage soft circuits. You remember what happened to the cat? Oh, yeah. Foom. Poor Mr. Whiskers! Ugh. Anyways, we as kids, makers teachers, and students. Believe being open is the only way towards the bright future we're all hoping for. So let's make it happen. Tell everyone about it and keep working hard on those blog posts and forums. Kids and adults want to learn and have awesome skills so they can earn money with more awesome people making and selling open hardware that helps make more awesomer things awesome-tastic. That's not even a word, but I like it. I'll add it into the dictionary. I'm Joey Hoodie. And I'm super awesome, Sylvia. Thank Thank you. you.